Tony Talks. To all our beautiful subscribers, we say thank you so much for staying with us. And uh, you are new here. We are happy you find us. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell so you will be notified for more upcoming videos. In the comment section, please no derogatory comments. Thank you all for watching. Till I will see you in my next exactly. We are not in our mother's land and we are Nigerians, so we have to speak of Nigeria. We have to speak of what is going on. Now, now turn us to the by the rivers of Babylon. Now, now turn us to there we sat down. Now, now turn us to and there we wept. I mean, you know what I say? We they miss our hope. You know what I say? Sometimes you go just sit down. You say, ah, I wish I'm still in Nigeria. There are times you go sit there and say, oh, can I just go and do holiday in Nigeria? But when you hear say security wahala day, may they no kidnap you. My pastor, I see you. I be Mbola. Me and you can never fight. I like you. Eh? You are pastor, but I can never fight you. Don't mind my people where they insult you. You know, say that they give me bad boost to. Just say, no. I like you. I like your comportment. You are very respectful. You are a nice person. Yeah. Hey. And some of you don't even you if so far you people do it the right way, nobody will talk. Help people, help people, no use people make money. If you are if you are if you are if you are even eating, remember the people under you and tell you more. Am I they don't be like those pastors where chop 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 they finish people life and investments. They finish people life, finish their investments. You know, say don't talk about Nigeria. You are in diaspora. If I'm in diaspora, now two passport I carry. I can use anyone. I get Nigerian passport, I get American passport. You cannot tell me not to talk about Nigeria. Share Nigeria good, na lie. Security day, na lie. Light day, na lie. Water day, na lie. You are on your own government in that country. Then go tell us, make we not talk about Nigeria. You are your own government. Anybody where they provide water for himself, provide lights, provide a uh, good road, provide security. Everything that is supposed to be provided by a government and is not being provided, you are your own government. In Nigeria, people are paying NEPA bill. Light no go day. In Nigeria, you say everybody is not paying tax. Let your government do what will make people pay tax. It get as they do I'm here. They don't burn you. Make you not pay your tax. They know how they do it, but they don't want to do it. All they want is to go and make money and leave the place. They are not interested. It is part of it that has given them, given all your pastors the opportunity to be doing all they like. If not, they are the one helping the government to keep you engaged. People where they go church, where they go pray all the time, they no go remember, say they won't go work. They will continue to wait for better tomorrow. Here, government has made it in a way they no burn you where make you sit down. They have made it in a way they no burn you where make you no work. They have made it in a way you they have they no burn you where make you know they responsible to government. And in that way, there is no time to go to church. On Sundays, when people go, they are in a hurry to carry their bag and go back home. Nobody, they stay inside church, they sleep, like you sleep in Nigeria. Wake up, especially you young ones. I see young, where is that video? See our children. I wept when I saw this video. I say, I wept in my heart. See this video. These are young people. Young children. No be adults. Oh. You see? And you think, anyway, when their children are taking over, their children are now, and they are internet savvy. They have good media personalities working for them on the ground to make them attractive, to attract the younger ones. That's what they are doing now. And they start, they are doing what they did in those days, where they will come to the university to come and recruit us. They got us from the university while we were still in school. See young people.
Sokpo ti lo. That's a church, Oluweke. That's a church, and those are youths. Those are youths. That's a church. Those ladies, those guys are youths. People in their twenties, most likely. I think the oldest probably could be thirty among them. People in their twenties, early twenties, mid twenties. That's a church. It's a recent video. It's no old. You know what is causing this? Is number one. Not many parents are bold the way... Oh, who is giving me bubble? Thank you. Not many parents are bold to say what I'm saying to their kids. Not many parents are even liberated. The ones liberated do not really sit their kids down to talk to them. A lot are not liberated. They feel, Yami, thank you. <laughs> they feel that is just what to do. It is just what they know. So instead of, I will, I'm rather empathetic with them. I saw it almost all day I saw a lot of videos. I refuse to repost. Those are youths. The same thing. If you watch that video, that video clip, just for video, four minutes I did. I remember as a, as a youth then too, in my late 20s, I was praying this kind of prayers and I was told our own is to roar in the spirits. Roar at our enemy that will not let our life be okay. And we'll say, roar. Roar. And we'll be screaming. At the end of the day, now so we scream, 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 waiting. One, one thing I wanted to know, life, life will always be life. Life will always be life. What you work at, what is your own responsibility? God is not doing it for you. Your pastor is not doing it for you. Your parents cannot even do it for you. What is your own responsibility is your responsibility. If you are looking for people who run away from responsibility and give it to somebody else, now we, our people, and most especially Christians. Christians hide under Christianity to run away from responsibilities. And that is why they hide under prayers. They hide under fasting. They hide under believing in God. And they put their failure they will never take responsibility of their failures. As a person, as a people, if you refuse to take responsibility of your failure, you have, and you keep saying it's one devil that is responsible. There is no devil. You are the devil doing yourself. I have said something. I was saying it as a joke. People think saying a joke as a joke, but not true. There is a responsibility I am taking. I took in this journey that has put me here. Today, if they won't count people where we say is rolling in millions, I should be one of them. But stupidly, and I repeat, stupidly and foolishly, as a people, as a person where believe say, in those days, like they were, and they are still doing it today, by sowing into one's kingdom, we make our life better. Every year, we were sowing a plot of land as first fruits. I'm talking about money equivalent to first to a plot of land in places like. Ojodu Den, Akute. Today, a plot of land in Akute is going for 30 million, 40 million. Imagine having 10 of it. 
those were the money let me say 10 plots somebody just buy them with they buy them every year they keep them there that money that we were using for first fruits we were just buying it and fencing it and today when things now became what it is in nigeria i said let me sell this property let us sell them 10 of those property will be uh like 400 million yeah 400 million but this is what went into somebody's business that we call ministry i'm using the practical example for you now if i'm to blame anybody will i put the blame on the pastor that spoke or me but because we didn't have this knowledge then we didn't have this information then many of us got carried away but it will be very stupid any couple of today young people of today young couple that are just that are building their lives building investment for future purpose today finding themselves doing the same mistake i take responsibility i it's not devil that did me nobody devil do us no and we did not sow any money to god because we didn't see god if anyone including your pastors have seen god please bring evidence if your pastor have seen god you should see him your family member should see him but god seeing is not for one person or specific people not only that template of land that would have been invested in with false fruits the money equivalent to a plot of land every year was being given into somebody's business as a um, seed i'm not even talking about monthly giving in form of tithes offering seed and i'm not even talking of time time they say is money if you want to know how time is precious come to america so i'm surprised when i see nigerians and of course i see some of them some of the most of these some of these church goers i don't have it their lives because they are wasting away here too here come and ask then you will know time is money even though you both they do extra shifts they take extra job they do double schedule they look for uh, extra hours they pull two jobs some pull three jobs and they invest in their future and we see how then they enjoy life then get their mumu too may i no lie then get mumu here too maybe on your but they know plenty at all if you they look for where we move plenty now for our play people and here there's still some control you will now see how time is precious the same time this same time we use it in nigeria i remember in those days friday vg was compulsory every, twice a week a month by the time we go for Friday VG, on Saturday we come back very tired. Saturday is wasted. We can't do anything again. On Sunday, 6 a.m., we are 6 a.m., 6:30, we are back to church to get the letters by 7. We will be there, we won't leave until about 4 or 5 p.m. Weekend, no rest for the weekend. Now we decided to be stupid believing one man who is talking out of his illusion and now today we can see the man has been talking from illusion and his um, hallucination he has been talking with a tumor inside his mouth to people because if a man can say a magic one that is holding concentrate on it and your life will be better and we saw phd older educated people well-traveled people focusing on the um something and saying 
I receive. Believe in it. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. And saying I receive. You can see how gullible, how myopic, how senseless we were. If it is not Otu Mokpo, you're welcome from Cameroon. Thank you, Elvis. Somebody will not tell us. God said, by this time tomorrow, rice will be for 10 naira. And we cannot ask. Somebody will not wake up and tell us, by this time tomorrow, dollar will be bowing to naira. And we cannot ask, what is the fiscal policy they want to use? What are the economic something they want to apply to make dollar to crash to naira? We are not asking all that. And we will clap. We will jump up. It shows that we are people who refuse to use our own brain by ourselves. When people are lazy, now so then they use their brain. And I will now take it to where I am going that me and you, we are in the same WhatsApp group with your pastor. And I will now stop very soon. Your pastor decided to open shop. They gather you to lie to you. And today they are billionaire. Facebook will start. I don't even know say they do monetization. I just got upset in my mind with what they have done. That no, our people cannot continue this way. We need liberation. People need to be set free from all these people that have become another S-L-A-V-E masters. They are doing it, enslaving the mind. They have turned people to something else they are sitting comfortably in their homes their children are educated with people sweat in the best of schools abroad after schooling their children go back home doing nothing and still feeding on the sweat of the people now you come to me and say i am not ashamed to be doing what i am doing your pastors are not ashamed to feed their family from people's sweats. They are not afraid, ashamed to lie to people, collect people's money, and go and invest for their future, children's future. They are not ashamed to collect even from politicians that are wicked to the masses. They are not ashamed of that. Tell me why I should be ashamed of what I am doing. Do you want to know? My children are proud of me. And where my children are, most of you, you cannot see them and talk to them. Because you are not in the same class. Or the same level. This is not pride. The same way, your same pastors that you are singing and crying for, you cannot even go near their shoes. You cannot go near their table. You cannot even dine with them. You cannot even call them on the phone and talk to them. And you call them your father. What sort of father does not have relationship with the children? The only people they have relationship with are people that are rich and people that are very, that can give them good money. Those are the people they know. They don't know you and they will never know you. Their children cannot even get close to them. You can't even get close to their children. As old as you are. When you see their children, the way you have knelt down, those guys have knelt down for Yedepo. It's the same way. Your, you people that are older than Yedepo will still kneel down for his son. All in the name of, he's a child of, he's a pastor. He's a, he's a, he's a kinney called by God. You will kneel down for them. And you say you are okay. You say you are normal. You say you are not under S-L-A-V-E-R-Y. You see those guys that were kneeling down for Yedepo. How many times 
Have you seen his own children kneeling down for him that way? How many times have you seen them kneeling down for anybody that way? A full grown man. Now you said our tradition as a Yoruba people, our culture is to respect elders. As a man, do men kneel down? Hey, they have messed you up seriously. Not my followers, oh. I'm talking about people crying for them and abusing him. If you don't want to abuse me, you put your contrary opinion. It's all okay. But if you insult me, oh, she she because you will not say a man, a man, do men kneel down? Do men kneel down? If you want to greet your father as a Yoruba man, you prostrate. You don't kneel down. Now women, they kneel down for man. A man is now kneeling down for a man like himself. Anyway, they are all in the same um, WhatsApp group. Those guys, they said they are pastors. They are your twins. Lawrence or your. She be Lawrence or yourself. Now let now this guy. Now lawyer. Lawrence or your finish school. Now church, he go start. He finish law school. Instead, go start church because he knows, say, Mumu plenty. Mumu will always be available. Even God Almighty, where nobody ever seen, we never see where he say we should kneel down for him. You pray, you stand up to pray. You are lying down, you can lie down to pray to God. In your mind, even when you are not in praying mood, you can just say like this. Father, I just commit everything into your hands. I don't know what to do. I seek your wisdom. I seek your direction. Without kneeling down. You saw elderly people the last time that are older than Baba Uyedepo. They were kneeling down and crawling, following him. And you see it is normal. And if there are rich people, how many rich persons you see when kneel down? For that man. You see, the funniest part is that now, now we be saying correct hunger, the wire, where they struggle, where they all pay, all run all the rents. I know now, now. You will all rent, you will not pay rent. You will go and pay tithes. You don't sin already. Give unto, unto Caesar what is due unto Caesar. You they owe your children's school fees. You they go give rent, you they go give offering and tithes. You they owe person money where you borrow. You they go give offering and tithes. You they go give offering and tithes. And you are owing people money. Where is your conscience? Where is your conscience? They have so manipulated your brain. They tell you they are the first when they tell you god is first they are telling you they are first not god god is not asking anybody for money if they want to do evangelism work for real for real let them go to sambisa forest let them go to the east the days they will say there is no movement on monday let them go to afghanistan where they fight let them go to um, israel now none of them is going to israel Shebe they tell you Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. They will say there is no mountain by the name of Jesus that will not crumble. Go and crumble Israel fights with prayer. The fight is getting worse every day. It don't they spread the past where we know we expect. My prayer make with a pray. May you cannot become World War World War Three. Go to Israel. They need you there. It's God's own country. In I know God, JP, Jerusalem, even Christmas, they know do. Go there. That is where they say Jesus will come from. JP, they say Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Tonu. He let me, he me. They say that Jerusalem, Jesus come from. Even pretty image, and I know if you go again. Go there. Go and fight with prayer. And say, oh, ye this thing in Israel, oh, you're seizing Jesus' name. Go and do it. If Jesus' name cannot stop that thing, you say you can stop any little thing. You don't like taking responsibility is your problem. 
every responsibility you are so take in a satan go you go put them on top and i come wonder you say satan is not is not uh, powerful satan is not powerful satan is powerful now now be powerless power because you have been fighting this fear satan you have been fighting this satan for only god knows how many years Eh, hey, fight it on when is i when are you going to stop to fight satan take responsibility isaac show how are you you are doing great i love the, your your scope now as if they keep quiet just they play they write your bio may they not poke by you for where you did take responsibility Christians don't like to take responsibility. They like to share, push their, their problem on people. Now Satan cause some. Now Satan cause some. Until something happened to you, you know, go go agree saying that Satan. When people wait talk say religion is the opium of the masses, you think they don't know what they are doing. They know waiting they create a religion for people who know the, the 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 history of religion when it started before Christianity come. They know what religion is being created for. But of course, support the law. It don't go, it don't work, it don't far. It don't achieve. It don't conclude. Africa don't enter the gay. You can't off my camera. Oh yeah, break your phone, my pastor. You, we don't enter the gay as a people. We go nowhere. As we know, get sense. Person will no get sense. Now, person will get sense. Go use the sense. That is what is happening. As you know, get then go help you use them. And person where they help you use them, go use them well, well. Then go help you use the brain. If they help you use them, finish, you go consider them later in life. I pray for the grace of my papa. Which grace? I pray for the grace of my papa. If you know use and wait tomorrow, your picking go run after their picking limousine. Their grandchildren limousine again. The way you your pa, you will be papa, as old as you are, a full grown man is running after a uh, limo Rolls Royce without collecting salary. Now, so your children and your grandchildren go run after their after their limousine. You know, be lie. Make a gone waka go. So me and your pastor, we did in same WhatsApp group. Their own WhatsApp group now to tell lie. I did for the section where we say me and go they bust their lies. I did for the section where we say it might be slow, it might be not steady as you think. But trust me, people are waking up. It is no more business as usual for every one of them, both old and young. Even the oldest one that has refused to repent among them. The older ones that has refused to repent among them. You are telling me, say, may I come see your papa in the Lord? He gave a... Uh, he gave coastal buses. After he don't collect Rolls Royce. Now he money take by these coastal buses. Shanko, no, don't worry. If the star come back, look and do it. Don't worry. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please. Thank you, my darling brother. God bless you. That uh, Rolls Royce, where they give her? He said, that you can't say he donates two coastal buses. Now, in money, take buy coastal buses. Now, in money, take buy them. Now, question, no. Before I can appreciate somebody doing something, let the money come from their pockets. And that is why when I do, we do all this uh, feeding a soul, uh, feeding a mouth and whatever I do on this page. Either somebody comes for help, they are not feeling okay. I make sure I contribute. That is, I won't say because I'm talking. After all, I've used my time. No, I must take my own money and hard. We are in the same WhatsApp group. Your pastor, they don't adopt pastor as work. Me, I have adopted talking about them. Talk is no more cheap. Talk is money now. I've adopted talking as, as making money too. They adopted talking, lying. Me, I adopted stay, saying the truth. Me, I will not lie to you. I will not hide. I will not say no. 
I will tell you the truth. They are lying and making money. Me, I'm saying the truth. And Facebook decide to pay me for my time. It's nobody's money. It's nobody's sweat. I am not saying listen to me. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. In another 10 years time, you that you are 50 years old, you will bow down to their children the way you have bowed down to their papa. It's normal. So I continue to encourage them. After all, it has become a business, family business now. Uh, it's no more uh, God's business now. Once pastor, one day, see, don't they go, he will carry the, this thing and give it to the children. Um, this guy, uh, Odukoya, Odukoya's children, they are already uh, in charge. Immediately, their papa go. Uh, bro uh, brother, no get wife. Uh, wife or uh, sister, no get husband. Two of them, they are in charge of the church. They are both divorcee. They are in charge of the church today. And they say, they already too are telling people, God said, God said, God said. God is already speaking to them too. As he speaks to their papa, so they, may I not go down angle, it's too sensitive. The children are saying God says too now. Abi, and already people that are of their age, don't they kneel down and prostrate. People that their papa, they met in their church. Where them born, them born them in their presence. They are already prostrating for them too. Our daddy in the Lord, they are there. The same way, when papa, your papa, your G bishop, your general overseer, your your waiting that they call them again, uh, all your uh, superintendents, whatever name they are called. By the time they go, their children will be there for you to start prostrating to. That is the destiny you, you carry come this life. Say that to the prostrate, to, to the kneel down oh, for human being like yourself. All in the name of, I was called by God. Anybody, if he talks, say, I was called by God. Nadia Bele, and how to make money, call them. And they have anti jail law. They, have, they went to school, they trained under a lot of people to know how. And that is why you see their pattern. In those days, make I remind you, may I come round up. When they were starting in those days, they were lazy, I'll be lazy. In those days, when they were starting, all of them, they were not friends of each other because everyone was after how much crowd they can pull. Winner was not friend to redeem. Redeem was not friend to deeper life. Deeper life was not friend to any church. Uh, Magli uh, uh, Sele was not friend to Pentecostal. Pentecostal was not friend to Sele. Everybody was grabbing their crowd. In the 70s and 80s, as they come gather crowd to finish, and as at that time, now so deeper life goes so spoil deep and um, redeem, redeem go spoil deeper life, redeem go spoil Baptist, redeem go spoil a uh, seller, white garment, white garment go spoil a um, Pentecostal. Now, so then they spoil each other in those days. As they come see, say, then don't chop belly full, everybody their hand don't touch what in their wants which is correct money. As they see, say their hand, everybody don't get the money where they want. They are now friends together again. They are now telling us, God is one. We cannot afford to be divided. What thing make them divide us in the first place before? Those are the questions you should be asking. Why did they, pre where were they preaching against each other before? Where were they saying one church is bad? The other is good. And I want to tell you, this includes redeem against winners. Winners and redeem were not together before. Why is that today where they don't collect correct money, they now come together and say, we are one. We are one body. We are one body in Christ. Why did they divide the body of Christ from the beginning? Why was it in those days they will say you cannot marry out of this denomination. And today we like we have a lot of only men, Virgin Mary. Where we say they never carry one in their life. Some they don't carry one. Over 30, 40 years, no other carry one in their life again. No picking, no children. Why? 
Why did they start lying in those days? Those are the questions that got us here that we are asking. That they will tell somebody, you cannot wear trouser. You cannot palm your hair. Say you will go to hair fire. And today, their own children are even helping us to use uh, Kironje, uh, Bone Straight. Their children are cutting style. Their children are tinting here. Their children are wearing trousers. Their children are helping us to use makeup. Their children are losing jewelry. The question they ask, all of them don't got that money. They don't got that power. They don't connect their children to continue to make more money. Say their generation yet unborn can never be broke. We saw them when they be like carpenter when they start. They know they know won't work. Then see, say this way oh, is a Yahoo way to make money. It's the easy way to make money without working. Then don't see oh, you both do and we make money before America wake up. Now so then self, then carry the head he put, begin use the style for us. Then divide, then divide family, divide siblings, divide mama and papa. If your pa if your parents are not born again, they are antichrist. Many people became hatred, um, um, enemy of their parents because of their preaching. Siblings, where we say they are different religion, they became enemy of each other because of their preaching. Why we say today, today, they are now whining and dining with the rest. Uh, I'm being baller. May I never be born again in my life again? I don't tell you. May I never, never I reject it. Tell me one person will go even. She now the same God. If we in a person when no fit think, go say God has special people. And if to say that God creates everybody, the same God. If I begin to ask you a question, you go say, <sighs> Yeah, excuse me. I'm coming down with flu. You go say this woman don't come. Okay. Where on a scope start from is can we ask a question? Now you go be my spouse on a lie. Can we ask a question? How come God will create? If you want to look at it, go say God. Now God calls Wahala. If to say the true story, where they tell us now true. So God creates devil and Satan. He can't make Satan enemy. He made Jesus a better person. He can't say things go there okay. In your family, as a parent, if you have children, you now have favorites among the children. Can you have peace? You can never have peace. Make I the waka go. You don't do for tonight. Now go see me again tomorrow. No worry. Hopefully I'm able to plan myself. Evening like this. Make with the dua. Me, I will never be born again. I know the way they call. To be born again, not to be mumu. You don't hear me? May I never be mumu again in my life. May I never, may I never, anything that will, I reject it. What do you think I'm doing? To be born, come born again. Now to say, come out your brain. Put them down. Anything where I tell you, now you go to put. That is to be born again. I don't want. I dash you now. Make a de waka go my hala too much. Because you got a baby, me she. Tell her who about retire, Arabi. You only retire. If God no retire me, nobody can retire me. Either you hate my face or you like my face. I'm on you. I'm inside your face. Except you don't come to my page. If you don't want to see my page, and in the I don't be in you know. <laughs> so, brother, Tony came out, let me know. See, if you don't want to see my face, break your phone. That is my advice. I reject to be born again. To be born again is to remove your brain. May I never be born again and make a man, a man, as an adult, go to direct me. Out of space. Did you? <laughs> did you see this video? You see, said that you they give me things or something to talk. Wait, did you see this video? I they come. May I show you one video? Apostle Seliman. <laughs> Apostle Selima, where they tell people, say, make them, where they fight, they tell them how to spend their money. So now that life, me, I will come live at this my age. Somebody will be the one to tell me 
how to spend the money I'm working for. I will want to go to holiday. The pastor will take me preach on top of altar. Say I leave the things of God to travel and chase after the things of the world. Meanwhile, pastor, they enjoy life. Codedly, pastor will travel and say he go minister somewhere to go and enjoy life with his children. He go go vacation. Me, then go say, then go come they take me preach. Say I leave the things of the world. I owe God to be chasing the things of the world. I don't know what you my money now is my money. I will spend it as I want. You said, come and listen to one of you. Come and listen. Shele yida. Ti o ban shekwe o le. Jibiti pali. Iwa o le. Are they come? Apostle Selima, where are you? They are offering before they come to church. It is when they see the person who is, who is a package of tithes and offerings, they just check and look at everything. That's why you are not growing financially. This is the balance. You can't give God peanuts and check what is here. 1,000, you return it back. 500, you return it back. 100 naira, you return it back. 50 naira, you return it back. Then you carry the bag one and just squeeze it and drop. And then you are laughing. And God is saying, I'm seeing your heart. You ate in a restaurant before coming to church. You spent 10,000. Shut up. You came and dropped 50 naira. I don't mean to be a bearer of bad news. Oh, yeah, boo. Can you hear that? Is helping them to calculate how they are using money to eat. To eat. Not even to buy clothes. To eat. He said on Sunday they go to restaurants. To go and spend 10000 To eat. is helping them to calculate. What are we eat? These are the people that are in their office. The best wine. Expensive wine. Expensive wine. Expensive wine. Expensive wine. Is in their offices. When inside their house, bags of rice, people will give them, is inside their house. These are people, their children will eat and throw the rest away. Helping people managing life. That says once in a while, let me make my family happy and take them out. And spend 10,000. Now he's preaching about this thing. What is he trying to do? Gaslighting. Maybe he found out that one of his members. This is how they use your topic. Your situation. Or whatever they know about you to preach. Gaslighting. Somebody that wants to treat his family, his children. That he's working for. And he says, you use 10,000. And you give... Fifty thousand, love fifty naira, love for long money. If God needs money, let God go and work. How can somebody that you say he owns everything, he has everything, everything that is in his care, everything belongs to him? Why should he be asking ordinary mortal man that is struggling and striving, a, a ordinary mortal that does not have rest in his life? Didn't you know that as a woman being, he has no rest for us. Ojo oku umulojo simi. The day we breathe our last, that is our rest day. And that person, because they are still living, they don't know when the last day, when the last breath will come, when they will take their last breath. Come and jaye, come and don't jegidi, come and leave dada. All because Olori Buruku pastor can refuse to walk. That has hand and leg and refuse to go and walk. If their God needs money, let their God go and walk. There is work available for him to make money. Let their God go and work. Let him go to school. Acquire education. Acquire certificates that will make him get good job. Let him go and work. Let him apply to be the world president. He can be paid as a world president to bless people. After all, you say he's God. He owns everything. Everything belongs to him. Why will he wait on me that I have to struggle? Why is the same God not providing for pastor? Why is pastor asking people to bring money? The same God that they are giving money to. Why must he be the one to give the money to people on behalf of God? Eh, give the money on behalf of people to God. Let people give it to God by themselves. And a lot of people are doing that now. Do you know how they are giving God money by themselves? They look at the needy around them. They look at people who really need the help. 
Somebody, I met somebody on Sunday. He said, Auntie, I know you. I said, eh. After some time, he said, ah, I need Auntie, I do need. Thank you for what you are doing. He said, do you know what I use my money for now? I said, what? He said, every Sunday. He doesn't go to work on Sunday. He goes to work Monday on to Saturday. He's an elderly man. The man should be in his 60s. He said, once I come back from work on Saturday, I rest and I wake up on Sunday. And I said, to him, I you at the round up. He said, what do I do? He said, I would look at how much I made during the week. And I would take a little bit out of it. Share it. Share it for people back home. That I know I need. Yes, ma. He said, that is what I do. I've been doing for years now. And your program has bought us that I'm doing the right thing. I have peace doing it. He said, I do, I'm not under any stress. I now rest very well at my age. He said, imagine I'm still very deeply with these people that I used to be. So at this my age at 60, after going to work Monday to Sunday, I will still not rest. God did not bless anybody. We are working. Nobody is having money without working. And hey mama, be realistic. This page, I call it real talk. And I know it will hurt a lot of people's lies. They, the, 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 the lies they have told them is truth for years. Oh my, difficult. They will fight it. If God is blessing us, everybody should not be in need. If God is blessing us, everybody in the church that is saying, God bless me, bless me. Oh, ye koni. Oh, lowo. They should not be crying and be hungry and be in need. No, we work to make money. If I don't work, I'm not going to be blessed tomorrow. Okay, let me say I have some change. Let me not work for the next two, two three months in this place. My enemy will become homeless. That is how it works. So I have to work. No God blessing. Go and work. You are saying God is blessing is confirming, um, supporting me, me uh, miracle a lot. There's nothing like that. You work to earn. You work to survive. You work to pay bills. Blessing, what you attribute to blessing is not blessing. Blessing is not money. Blessing is living in peace. Not having problem. That is blessing. Blessing is having good people around you. Blessing is being a good person too. Blessing is not money. Stop equating blessing to money. And that is why we have a lot of poor people in the church. They are not blessed. If it is according to money, they are not blessed. If you are equating it to money, the only person that is blessed if you equate it to money is your pastor. So you have given me another quote, Timothy Besita. You can see you are my inspiration. You inspire me when we talk, when we chat, when you comment. This is how to use space. You use your brain. My brain is not suspended. From what you say, I can think and bring something out of it. I'm not like the person that your bishop said, Suspend your brain. He said, drop your intellect. You cannot have your intellect and be a child of God. He is ordinary. He's saying stylishly, you cannot have intellect and be a mumu. The only time you can be a mumu is to drop your intellect. That is what he was saying. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you. Please don't forget to press the share button. Share to that your friend. Where still things say without pastor in life can never be better. Don't put your responsibility on anybody. Wake up to your responsibility. Think of what can better your life. Inspire yourself. Motivate yourself. Plan. Make sure your brain is working. A brain that prays does not think. A brain that depends on prayer 24-7 will never think. There are places of prayer which is just when you are at a crossroad. That is when you can say, you can offer a word of prayer. God, I'm confused here. And you have to do your parts for that confusion to go. It is not by I'm confused. Oh, Lord, come and open my brain. Oh, Lord. Like those Zion people are within and they call them. They're, they're within and they call them. Those chosen. We're saying do examine. No read. 
That's a big lie. You don't read, you go fail. Go and read. Make sure you are reading very well. Reading is inspiring. Reading is building up yourself. Reading is motivating. Reading will make your brain to wake up more. You think you... It's one of the things I'm loving doing this thing. If you know the knowledge I'm acquiring in doing this thing, they open my brain well, well. They open my eyes. I come, sometimes I go look myself, say I be mumu in those days. No be say I no go school, but I be mumu. Check out my one Pastor, no one go heaven again, yo. Come on, see your eye for church money. Now, pastor, get them. Members donate a bulletproof for the pastor. And the pastor get attacked by who? By unknown gunmen. Have a wonderful night, guys. Love you. Love me or hate me. I always love you. You know why? I don't know you one on one. You know offend me one on one. All this ranting and crying on social media. The idea is stay. If you see me one on one, you cannot introduce yourself to me as the person who insults me. Now so it be. If I see your pastor, they see me. They say, Auntie Aduni, are you the one talking? I will say, Yes, Pastor, I am the one. I don't like what you are doing. You are not helping the masses. You are only lying to us. Me, I can talk it. You, you cannot talk. Say you now you abuse me and you insult me. The worst you can do is to look at me. I hate that woman. Who your hate help? Who your hate? Your hate now money for myself. You know why? We need both enemies and friends to succeed. We need both enemies and friends to be inspired. We need both enemies and friends to build up ourselves. Your enemies bring out the best in you, except you don't know yourself. If you know yourself, where your enemies come, you will look at the positivity out of their enemy and bring it to positivity to favor you. So me, I they use enemy ginger. I they use enemy insults. I go the game with questionra. You know that in Yoruba? I had they take enemy insult and everything they do. So keep it coming. Keep it coming. It's part of the period. It's part of using your brain. For my own betterment, the way your pastors they use your brain for their betterment, make we they use you, make all of us they use you go. What's it law? Can you wonderful night? Hi guys, love you. So that guy, I would be uh, expecting your uh, waiting there in the corner. Somebody said that's why God created devil. You did there when He creates devil. Oda Rojiri, we going. If you see me in your degree, what do you go do? You will greet me well. I will say, I see Pastor Bimbola, oh, and I will hug you. You hug me and your, your sister, nothing spoiled. Ah, Aleja. I'm my young pastor, the man, my baby. Santi Aduni. What are you poor dear? If I was slow down, that's what they tell me. They love me. <laughs> Bye. Do you know what? The people that watch this, my show, are not even my followers. I have about 80% of non-followers watching me than followers. That should tell you something that I'm making impact. Now, then they carry the video. Why do you think many of them, stylishly, they are giving out? They are giving out for a reason. They are giving out because they are watching us. If you think, say, my video, need they go, you they deceive yourself. Honestly, <laughs> you they deceive yourself. All right, guys.